Hi everyone. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to implement one signal push notification in your app. The inbuilt push notification is not working in Koduler for much time. I will be using this one signal push extension for Koduler. You can buy this extension from AI2 store on the Play Store. So let's start. As you can see I have already imported the extension. Let's drag it. For implementing OneSignal you must have a Firebase project to get FCM details. So I have just created a project let's open it. Go to project settings and then cloud messaging section. We got our sender ID here but not the server key. Most of the user are confused here that how to get the server key. For enabling the server key, just click on the three dots and click on the manage option to enable the server key. Now the page is loaded and you can see an enable button. Just click on it and wait some seconds. After the loading our server key will be enabled. Now we just need to refresh the Firebase page. As you can see we have got our server key enabled. Now copy your sender ID and server key and paste them to OneSignal dashboard to finish setting up your OneSignal app. After entering details, Select the native Android option and click save to complete the process. We have got our OneSignal app ID now. Just copy it now and let's implement the OneSignal push extension in Koduler project. For connecting with your users, you just need to initialize the OneSignal SDK with your app ID on the screen initialization. Now let's add some components to our design to test more features of the extension. We will now use on subscribed event to print the player ID on a label. This will help us to know when the user is subscribed. Now, let's use the button to send a notification to ourselves whenever we click the button. For that we will use if condition to know whether we are subscribed before sending the notification. Send notification to player ID helps us to send notification to specific user with their player ids. And if we are not subscribed then we will show an alert. Let's add another event to track when the user opens the notification. You can also open specific screen by using open notification on screen click block. When the notification will be sent, we will print the response on a label to check it. Let's drag more buttons to test more features of the extensions. When the button 2 will be clicked, we will be setting an external user ID. You can use remove external ID to remove this ID. Now, when the button 3 will be clicked, We'll set and test email. Let's drag another button and use it to send custom tags. It is recommended to use short strings and values for custom tags. Also, starting with the Android 13, your notifications will not be enabled automatically. For that you must ask the notification permission from the user. And if the user denied the permission once then you cannot ask it again until user delete your app or your app target the SDK 33. Extension has a block to ask the notification permission in Android 13. Drag another label and we will use it to print the notification enabled status. We have finished our job. Now let's clean up the code and export the app to test it. I have opened the app now and you can see that the app has asked me the notification permission because I am using an Android 13 emulator. So let's allow it for now and test the app and we also got the subscribed event meaning that we are subscribed to the OneSignal. Now let's send a notification to ourselves to see if it's working. Looks like my internet is slow so the notification is being delayed. Till then let's refresh the OneSignal dashboard to see if it's showing us subscribed. Click on check button and as you can see it has found us. So let's click on send message button. 
we will also send a notification from the console to verify if the extension worked from the console. In the app, we finally received our push notification that we sent through app a minute ago. Let's send another notification from the app and wait. Now the notification has been sent from the console and it's showing delivered to one, and we got the second notification sent from the app. Till then let's check other features that we added. You can find your all users in the audience section, and we got the another notification that we sent through one signal dashboard. Let clear it for now and check the external user id. Click on set external ID button, and in the dashboard, I will open the player details again to refresh it. As you can see here the external user ID has been set successfully. Now let's click on the set email to check if it's working. Let's click on the send tag too. Now we will reopen the player page again. And we can see our sent tag here in the data tags. Now click on the user page again and we can see another player that is subscribed to the email channel. Let's format the list to see the user email. And we can see here our email. Let's open the player page and check if the external user ID is set or not. It seems that external ID is missing so let's click on the button again to set the external ID and refresh the page. And the external user ID has been set successfully. You can also use this extension in App Inventor and Nitron. So this was the tutorial showing how you can implement one signal push notification in your app. I hope you liked it. If you have some question regarding it then you can ask in the comment. I will be making more tutorial to explore more extensions, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.